Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be looking at the tiny, tiny little Foxeer Reaper Nano Video Transmitter. Uh, a while ago Foxeer sent me some antennas to have a look at, but they had the UFL, the tiny little UFL connection. I didn't have a video transmitter which had that connection, so I asked if they could send me something that I could actually try it out on. So they sent me the Reaper Nano Video Transmitter. It is an absolutely tiny, tiny little video transmitter. Uh, it is uh, variable power, uh, it has UART control, uh, pretty amazing little video transmitter, but we'll have a closer look at it in a little while as well. And they also sent me their new uh, quad frame. Um, this is the Aura Long Range, I think oh, five inch maybe, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, it's nicely sort of packaged and 3D printed parts in there all the bits and pieces you need. So I'll put that together and um, see what I can learn about uh, building a quad. Something they also sent me, which I'm very happy about, is the Foxy Echo 2 patch antenna for your goggles. Uh, this is a very nice compact little patch antenna. I was using this real ACC triple feed patch antenna, which, uh, which works very well, of course, but it's uh, very cumbersome and, uh, and bulky and you have to sort of take it off and put it on every time. Uh, but with this little patch antenna, I'll be able to leave it on the goggles all the time. Apparently, it's not a good idea to keep detaching your antennas anyway. Uh, it comes with a 45 degree angle um, adapter there, uh, which may reduce the sensitivity a little bit. Uh, but if it's not significant, I'll just leave that on all the time because I like the way it's, it's facing the uh, same orientation as my head. Uh, otherwise, it sort of points out to the side at about 45 degrees. So uh, that's... Very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to leave that. Uh, all my FPV reviews uh, are going to be using this now, so you'll be able to see how well it works. So let's have a look at some of the specs for the Reaper Nano. Uh, we have uh, 12 by 6 millimeter size UFL connector. There's three display LEDs which show you power, band and channel. Power range is 25, 100, 200 and 350 milliwatts. Input voltage 5 volts, so you do have to make sure you don't plug it into a 9 volt power board or anything like that. Make sure it's 5 volts. It outputs 5 volts to power your camera, 40 channel, and the UART protocol is TRAMP, which I'll dem uh, demonstrate in a little while. Closer look at the board schematic now from the Foxia website. We have the three LEDs, blue for channel, green for band, red for power. There's the little UFL connector for the antenna. Here's the little selector button and the wiring pads. We have video, ground and 5 volts out for your camera. Tramp, control and 5 volts and ground in to power the board. Wide up here we've got signal going into the video uh, in for the video transmitter. Uh, we've got power coming from UART7 and we've got the tramp which uh, is the white cable here going into the T7 pin on UART7. To configure the TRAMP UART control, we go into iNav, connect the board uh, to iNav, go to ports, and we select whichever free UART you're going to use. I'm using UART7, that's the T pin on UART7, and select uh, TRAMP in the peripherals. If you had a smart audio board or a whatever, DJI video transmitter, that's where you select them there. But we need TRAMP for video transmitter control, so that is good. We save and reboot that. And then we go down to OSD if you want it on the screen. Scroll down to video transmitter here and uh, activate video transmitter band and channel. Uh, there's also video transmitter power level here, uh, but it seems to already have the power level included in that line. That, that one there is 25, uh, you go one, two, three, four power levels, and we've got band, air, uh, band and channel shown there as well. So let's go and have a look at that. Let me save that. So the uh, basic way to change uh, settings using tram is to go to the stick menus which is uh, throttle half your left and uh, pitch full so now we've got uh, the menu on the screen here features and we choose video transmitter uh, so now we can choose the band the channel and the power let's do the power 
Uh, see, power says 25 there, 100, 200, and 450, uh, 400, well, it's actually 350. Uh, so that shows as one, uh, one, two, three, four on the screen. So let's set it to 100 and set. Yes. Back out of there. And you can see we've got power level two on the screen there now. Now there are, I believe, Lua scripts that uh, can make this um, even more intuitive and you can change settings without losing the channel, the image on the screen and uh, there are also logic conditions that uh, people like uh, Mark Hoffman and Darren Lyons have come up with a sort of a, a sequence of uh, logic switches and, pro and programming lines in INAV which means that the uh, power will automatically adjust depending on how far you are away from home but uh, that's not what this video is going to be all about so there you go a tiny little video transmitter weighing less than one gram or the board by itself ufl connection works well with the lollipop and the lollipop plus fox ear antennas uh, with tramp control 5 volt in have to remember that and uh, it can also supply 5 volts for your camera there you go. That'll do it for now. Thanks for watching.